What is good, y'all? I'm back with another video, you dig? My name is Tone. I am she. She is me. If you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I drop another video, you dig? Today, man, I'm doing a mukbang, man. I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing some salmon and some brown rice, y'all. You dig? Salmon and some brown rice. Uh, Y'all ever make uh, canned salmon? <clears throat> I grew up on canned salmon, so how I make it is uh, I cut up some tomatoes, some onions, um, I use some garlic, some uh, um, some like some slap your mama to season it with some uh, pepper, some onions. You could put bell peppers. I didn't use any this time. Um, whatever you like, you know what I'm saying. And then. Uh, I put my uh, cayenne or my chili pepper in there. You know what I'm saying? Make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Spice it up. And then I give me some rice on the side. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm into brown rice now. I didn't, I didn't think I liked it, but I'm into it now. But yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and say my grace. You know what I'm saying? God is great. God is good. Let me thank you for this food and the hands that prepared it. So the acts that it's nourishing to my body and it's good for my soul. It's using my prayer. Amen. Amen. There can only be one me. Hey, be yourself. Don't be nobody else. <laughs> you did. Let me see if I can, uh, y'all can kind of see a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I want y'all to see me, so that's kind of, that's a no-no for me. So yeah, y'all, man, let me hold this up. You know what I'm saying? This is canned salmon, you know what I'm saying? Not the salmon that you buy, you know? It can kind of look weird because it's kind of mushed up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. And then some people take the bones out. You know what I'm saying? To each his own. I don't take the bones out. I don't mind a little crunch. And plus the bones, the bones in the salmon is so thin, it ain't gonna do nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna hurt you. For me, so I'm just take a little bit, put it on the rice, cause uh, I'm not gonna eat all that. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit more on there. Anyways, y'all, how y'all doing today? How y'all feeling? Feeling good. Feeling great. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm still kind of getting used to the brown rice. Because it's different, you know what I'm saying? It's a different flavor than that white rice, especially because I grew up on the white rice. So getting used to this is a little different. But I eat it because I know it's a healthier choice for me. I actually brought that canned salmon to make salmon croquettes, but I ain't been feeling like making it. This was quicker. Okay. I stay doing all them other mukbangs with fried foods and stuff they don't need to be eating. So, took a break. I usually buy the salmon fillets and cook those. But like I said, I was in a hurry. I wanted something quick, I was hungry. So, this is quicker than, you know, trying to season it and, you know, do the extras and then pat it up, put it in the flour, you know. That process, y'all. I got some water. I know in my videos, I'm a Gemini, y'all, so hence journey with a Gemini. I'll be having so many ideas in my mind, be like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. But what I realize is I'll be overthinking a lot. So when I drop y'all a video, I'm just gonna drop y'all a video. And the title is gonna tell y'all what it's about. You feel me? I'm gonna stop coming over here saying I'm gonna do this and you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna do a song of the day, and I'm like, you know, no, because sometimes I'm not, I might not feel like it, you know what I'm saying, I might not be in the mood, so I don't want to have y'all disappointed and waiting on that, and then I don't drop it, you know, so I had to go within myself and be real with me, you know, and say, you know what, sometimes I can make mistakes, so 
Sometimes you gotta go over things, you know? And I have to go over it. Like, I'm gonna just drop a video, whatever my heart desires or whatever, you know, I get. I just drop it for y'all. But yeah, y'all. I'm on a whole different tip, man. Starting a whole new beginning, man. My life is starting over, man. It's like I had a death and I'm rebirth. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? And it's been a lot of hard work. It has made easy. You know, just because I'm on here and it looks all peachy and king, life is not always peachy and king. But it is what it is. You keep pushing. You feel me? Don't let nothing hold you back. Do what you got to do for you. Because you first. I'll say put God first and then put you. But, yeah. Yesterday I was trying to do some videos, but I be having stuff on my mind. You know, sometimes I got to sit back and reflect on the things that you're going through. And, um, yeah. And that's, during that reflection, sometimes that's when you get clarification on things. And, uh, yeah, that's what I needed. So that's what I'm saying. Some days I might be mixing the action, y'all, but it's because I'm taking some time to myself and I'm reflecting on my life and the things that I need to do that's going to um, keep me on, on a um, positive note and um, focus on my goals. So, yeah, y'all, I know I was saying I'm going to hit y'all, too, with um, daily workouts um, every once in a while. Well, I don't know. I'm still trying to debate on that because I kind of like my daily workouts as a time to myself for me to reflect and and kind of like meditate and um yeah just work on me like i don't want to um feel like i guess that like i'm forced you know what i'm saying like in a sense that i'm forced because like i come on here and i'm like okay guys i'm doing my daily workout and i'm gonna be on here every day and it's just like some days i don't feel it you know what I'm saying? That's life. That's the human experience. I'm not going to feel it all the time. So it's like, I don't want to feel like, oh, I have to come because you guys are, you know, banking on me to be here. So I just kind of want to use that time for myself, to myself. And, um, you know, if you guys have any questions or anything, you know, feel free to ask me. You know what I'm saying? Because I am on my weight loss journey. But to me, that's just um, something that I just want to do on my own like in a sense like the workout you know because i i just i don't know that's just how i feel about that you know but yeah y'all if y'all haven't tried some can salmon you should try it but i would recommend it first because everybody is not so keen on canned salmon i recommend i recommend you try it um salmon croquettes if you haven't tried it you know, try that first. And then if you like salmon, you know, salmon, then maybe try this. You know. Mm. Yeah, y'all, I know I don't eat a lot. Like, my stomach was growling. I was hungry. But it's like, as soon as I eat, I be full quick. And I don't understand that. In the last couple of days, my body's been acting kind of funny, so. Yeah, I'm done, y'all. I cannot force myself to keep eating. And this is my first meal for the day, too. It's kind of early for me, though. It's like 11, 30, almost 12 o'clock. But I usually don't eat until after 12 because I like to fast until 12, after 12. Sometimes I have longer than that, though. Because I need my, my body to have a break. You know? Keep constantly putting food, food in it, food in it, food in it. My body's not... It doesn't have enough time to break down the last meal. You know? So it's just on top of each other, on top of each other. That's how my body works. Um, I have something called Quad Equina. You can go look it up, okay? I'm not sure here really explain what it is. 
but Quata Equina. You feel me? Something I got after back surgery. Just crazy because I don't really tell people this, so. That's what it is. I got it after back surgery. It's nerve damage. But it doesn't stop me. It's not going to stop me. Because um, I believe that I'll be healed. You know what I mean? But it, don't, it ain't stopping nothing. <clears throat> Honestly. <laughs> You know, I can't be doing all that physical work, hard labor. That's why I'm not really cooking anymore. Because being a cook, a chef, whatever, it's hard labor. It's a lot of hard work. You know what I'm saying? You're on your feet constantly, moving around. You know? And then after a long day of work, you always have to clean up the kitchen. So, that broke my, broke my body down even more. Like I said, my first job was the post office. So, that broke my body down at a young age. Because I was doing a lot of heavy lifting and a lot of heavy moving and I'm heavy set. I've always been big. I was way bigger than this. So, you know, I guess my, my skeleton couldn't take all this, this weight, you know what I'm saying? And I'm doing extra heavy stuff. So I broke my body down. And then over time, the cooking broke my body down too. So I guess I'm like, I kind of don't want to do anything that would jeopardize my back. Like, cause yo, I need my back. Like, being in pain with your back is not, man, that is like one of the worst feelings. Like, your back is out, oh, man, I hate that feeling. Sometimes I gotta go to the doctor occasionally just to get a shot, just to get relief from it. Like, that is the worst feeling, okay? So, that's why, another reason why I was like, okay, I need to lose this weight. Because if I don't lose this weight, I'm gonna forever have these issues with my back. And I hated that. Like, being in a hospital bed for so long, trying to fight to get up out of it was not a good feeling at all, okay? And it's a mental struggle. And I had to pretty much nurse my myself, my mental health. Nurse myself because I really didn't feel like I was, nobody was really there for my mental for me. So I had to nurse my mental back up, you know? So that's why I, like... Even though I went through this transition and this change in my life, I don't feel like I'm any better than anybody. I don't feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm this, this sh that, I am feel like I'm the shit. Yes, I do. I, I, why wouldn't I? I came a long way. That's what you're supposed to feel like. You're supposed to feel good. Your ego ain't supposed to be all big and out of control and, and all that. You know what I'm saying? My ego is not big and out of control. I don't think I'm better than anybody. If anything, I'm trying to help people. Get you know if they're if they were where I was at, I'm trying to help to get help them get to where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I truly believe I have a spiritual awakening, and um, my life just did a 360 overnight. Just from the beginning of this year, y'all, I've been coming out of my shell from the beginning of this year, and I thank my brother for that. Shout out to my bro um, Malcolm because he started he 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 uh, helped me put that first foot out in the beginning of the year. In January 1st, honestly, and I was nervous and I was afraid, but he was always there to push me, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to you, bro. And um, and then this year has just been changing for me, man. I've been really seeing a change in myself, and um, I was looking for other people to see it in me. But I had to come to the realization that everybody is not going to say something. They notice it. People, people notice the change in me, but everybody is not going to say anything. And reason why is because they have their own issues. And like I said, some people don't just don't want to um, acknowledge that you you the shit. You know what I'm saying? That you're a strong individual. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know. It's just a lot, y'all. But like the word of the day I said yesterday, man. Be your true authentic you. Don't try to be nobody else. Be yourself. Don't be nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Only be somebody else when the time comes for it or it's really necessary. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, you don't really need to be anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Be you. You know what I'm saying? People accept that or they don't. You know what I'm saying? And I'm at the top of the point in my life that I, um, I'll be by myself. Because I recognize foolishness real quick. My discernment is real on point. So, um, 
I don't want that around me. And and people can say, oh, well, this is my life. This is what I got going on. And it ain't got nothing to do with you. Well, it do got something to do with me because you bringing that toxic energy or that over here in my life. You want to come, all that that's, that you be having going on, that is the energy. And it's on you. And then you want to come over here to me and bring that over here to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Boop. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm nice and I'm respectful and I'm, and I'm here for people, you know what I'm saying? But what you're not gonna do is manipulate me and um, yeah, no, it's just not gonna go down. And um, in the past, I've noticed that I let that go on a long time because I was insecure and I didn't know my worth and I didn't like me, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know my worth, I like me, I care about me. How I know if I care about me? Because I get up, I take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? I wash my ass, you know what I'm saying? I do stuff that take care of me, self-care. That's how I know I, I care about me. You know what I'm saying? Because if I didn't care about me, I'd be a dirty, stanky fat And that ain't me. I've never been, hell no. <laughs> my cousin taught me about Fresh. Shout out to him too. Kenny Ken, Ken. Big cousin told me about fresh, huh? You know what I'm saying? My daddy taught me about fresh, huh? It ain't gotta be uh, expensive fresh, but you you look nice and you carry yourself well. And uh, I know about that. So I never, I'm not gonna say never because you never said never, but that ain't my stilo. You know what I'm saying? I like to look clean and, and nice and yeah. Like I said, I'm being me. Look at y'all, I'm out here showing y'all my arms like, this is something I was embarrassed about. For what? It is me. It is me. It is what it is. You dig? I'm working on it though. You know what I'm saying? And something else I noticed too, a, a lot of people will ba have backed away from me though. <laughs> but I, I, I don't even laugh though. I say this though because I feel like they know what I'm about and they know what I'm on. And they like, uh -uh, I ain't messing with that. Yeah, come on, bust that ass, boy. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm just saying, stand in who you are, y'all, man. You don't gotta be mean and rude. And I get that now because my friends used to tell me like, you need to be nicer, stop being so mean. You know, with spirituality comes, you know, you have to be a nicer person. You know what I'm saying? And I used to be like, man, I be myself, and I do be my. I believe that you be yourself, be your authentic you, but you do be nice to people. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be rude to people, and I get that now. I don't gotta be rude to people. If somebody approaches me, I don't gotta be mean or have an attitude. I just see what they say, you know what I'm saying? Hear them out, hear what they gotta say, and then I make my determination from there. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, story time. So, I was at the gas station, and I went to go put some gas in my car, and I came out, filled my tank up, and I was about to hop in the car. And as I was walking, closing my uh, gas tank, this man put up in a, in a cool, cool, he had a, like a, uh, he was he was in a new car. And I looked in the back and he had like two kids in the back. And I heard him say something to me, but I kept walking because I like to, sometimes I be, my anxiety goes up and I feel like people always ask me for something so I try to get on. But something said, just turn around. So I turned around and I, and I looked at him because I wasn't really sure if he was talking to me or not, but I kind of felt like he was, but I was about to ignore him. But because he wasn't talking that loud. So I, uh, someone said, turn around, I turned around. And he was, he was talking to me and he said, uh, you know, um, I lost my wallet, my, kid, my kids lost my wallet, or my, I lost my wallet and I'm not from around here and uh, can you help me out with some gas? And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, dang, I don't know. Like, but I was like, I just walked back into the gas station. I was like, all right. I walked back in the gas station. And I'm, I talk, but before I walked in the gas station, I told him like, I'm gonna put $20 in your tank. You know what I'm saying? I'll put $20 in your tank. So I walked in the gas station, put $20 in my tank, in his tank. And then uh, as I was walking back to my car to get in, I was telling him, you know, have a, have a blessed day, whatever, you know. And he came up to my door and he was like, uh, what kind of watch you got on? Sorry, y'all. He was like, what kind of watch you got on? I'm like, oh, this is a Michael Kors. Like, this ain't nothing too big out there, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. This is a Michael Kors. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, well, this is a Rolex right here. 
he showed me his Rolex. I was like, oh, okay. He was like, um, he was like, and I got, he got, I got these rings. He got on some gold rings, y'all, some big, nice gold rings. And I looked at that Rolex. It said Rolex, <laughs> like, and he had an accent. He was from another country. He was like, I'm not from out here, but can I give you something for this? Can I, can I give you my watch? I'm like, nah, like, you want to give, give me your, I'm thinking in my head, you want to give me your Rolex just for giving you some gas? Like, no. Then he was like, I'll, let me give you something, like, let me give you a ring or something because I don't have any money, like, and I can tell bro got money, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, nah, it's cool, bro, like, it's good, like, you straight. Like, he's just looking at me confused, like, he was like, well, thank you, you know, God bless you. And I'm like, God bless you, good, you know what I'm saying? Have a good day. Going about my day, you know what I'm saying? So, it just showed me that people, that was a lesson to me, that, you know what I'm saying, people that can have more than you, they might need you at a time, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's what I'm saying, like, it kind of intimidated me at first when he was like, well, what kind of watch you got? And I'm thinking like, damn, this is Michael Kors, like, yeah, I spent a couple hundred on this, but this, that's it, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, this is a Rolex, I'm like, okay. Like, but then again, I had to think about it like, why? That don't intimidate me, for what? That's what I'm saying. Now, I look at stuff different, you know what I'm saying? Now when I see people and I notice they got more money than me, it don't bother me no more. Because at the end of the day, they're the same. They, we on the same level. We the same. He's no bigger better than me just because he got more money. Material things don't, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was just I was just thankful that I could be of a blessing to him, you know what I'm saying? To help him out, you know what I'm saying? He, he didn't have to give me no ring for no no Rolex. Some, some Most people would have been like, yeah, I'll take it. That's cool. I know, for what? Why would I do that? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he was in need. I did think twice, like, damn, is he using me? But then I had to think, like, bro got all this jewelry on. He stepped out with uh, with suspenders on, with some nice pants and a tie. He had his jewelry on, but he had his two kids in the back. So that's what kind of really, like, okay, bro got his two kids in the back. And then again, and then I started to look at things like this. Like, if somebody asks me for something and... They have bad intentions on what they're going to do with that money that I give them. That's on them. You know what I'm saying? I try to have the best discernment when I do give people money that I'm giving it to the right people. But I can't always do that. Like, whatever they use it for, that's on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just hope that they will use it for something that they really need, like food or something. Because I would never, like, turn somebody down on food. Like, that's something I was raised off of. Like, if somebody asks you, tell you that they're hungry, you feed them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, can you buy me some food? <clears throat> you feed them, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes when I see people, they ask me for some excuse, food, excuse me, for some food, I'll buy them some food from at the food place. Hey, let me get two extra tacos or three extra tacos. And then I might throw a couple dollars in the bag. You know what I'm saying? Or something, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not perfect, but I just try to be the best version that I can. and. I know that sometimes my uh, my overthinking can mess things up for me, you know what I'm saying, or you know uh, keep me from going places sometimes. But uh, yeah, y'all, man, I know I was everywhere. It was supposed to be a bug bang. I got y'all whole speech. Yeah. But anyways, y'all, man, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I thank y'all for tuning in with me for another one. I hope y'all have a blessed day, man. Stay encouraged, man. Know who you are. Be your authentic, true self, man. That is definitely the message I'm going to be pushing on this page, man. Be the true, authentic you, man. The, the you that makes, that feels good. You know what I'm saying? Do things that make feel good. Create things that make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If y'all haven't already, man, go check out the book, man. The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. You feel me? I'm like a little bit halfway, I'm still halfway through the book, y'all. Like sometimes I'll read a page or two, or I'll go from one part, you know what I'm saying, I'll read a chapter and I'll stop, you know what I'm saying? But it's all about the power of the mind, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you read, you're not gonna uh, process and keep with you, you know what I'm saying? But some stuff, you will, you know what I'm saying? And uh, even though I haven't fully accepted the whole process of the power of now, um, it has been beneficial for me because I still, it's in the back of my head, with, you know, so I I still try to use it and implement it when I can, you know what I'm saying? 
and uh, it's basically just trying to take control of your, your thought process, you know what I'm saying? Get rid of those negative thought processes, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not you. All them negative thoughts telling you you can't do this, you're not this, you're not good enough, somebody else is better than you. Ain't nobody better than you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. People got these big egos, man. The ego's so big. <laughs> Worried about material stuff and money. Money money don't make bring happiness, man. That's just what it is. It's temporary fulfillment. Just like most of the stuff in the world. You feel me? It comes from within you, and it took me a long time to realize that and understand that everything that you're seeking is already within you. So love... Everything else, you know what I'm saying? Compassion, respect, honor, strength, courage. It's all in you already. You just have to find it. You have to, it's actually not find it. You have to grasp it. Grab that motherfucker. And, oh, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Turn the light on. Turn the lights on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That Beyonce. But anyways, y'all, man. Like I said again, because I'm always just going and on and on. On and on, and on and on, the driver keeps rolling like a rolling stone. I can't get to the top blowing in me. Oh, I can keep going. I probably wouldn't hear all the words, though. But anyway, y'all, y'all like my new backdrop? Gemini, you feel me? Journey with a Gemini. Y'all probably was talking about my last one. Yep. I went to the 99 cent store, and I got, what, creative? Because I didn't have a backdrop, so I had to get creative. Bought a shower curtain. You know what I'm saying? I brought them little emojis, and I sat there, and I colored it myself. It was something that was, uh, it was, it felt good to just take a break and just color. You know what I'm saying? So I colored it myself. To me, those emojis meant Gemini. You know what I'm saying? All the different faces, that's Gemini. Man. So yeah, I got creative with myself, man. It's, it's creativity, man. You start where you can. You feel me? Now they upgraded to a tapestry. You know what I'm saying? Just turn with a Gemini, you dig? But anyways, man, if y'all new to this channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? If this is your first time viewing this video, man, thank you. Hit that thumbs up if you like it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all my subscribers and all the support, y'all. I'm going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm human, so every day ain't going to be all gravy. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I'm great. Hey. But anyways, y'all, man, until next time.